Hi, I'm Lori Alred. Welcome to Inspired by Pinterest, where I surf Pinterest looking for great pins and bring them to life in each episode. And I have to say this rocks for a job because I get to look at those beautiful pins and then challenge myself to try things I may not have done. And rather than just collecting the pins, um, my friend pointed out I have something like 10,500 pins, but I, it's because of my job. It's not because I waste away all my time pinning, but there's so many amazing ideas out there and I can't resist. So let's go ahead and get started. Today's episode obviously is going to be about trays. I've seen some beautiful pins all over Pinterest, but what actually sparked my interest in this was Part of my job, I get to come in to the studio and be here first day of filming with new hosts. So I was here about a month ago with Kara from Kara's Party Ideas, and she was setting up her set for an episode, and she pulled out the most adorable tray, and I have a photo that's going to pop up that she'd made out of a picture frame. And I thought, what a brilliant idea. I'd kind of seen it on Pinterest, not paid much attention to it. And then I went crazy and started pinning tray ideas all over the place. So you're going to find all of these pins I'm showing you today in my board called trays. And you simply go there on Pinterest to find them. But typically when you think of trays, you think of first these bright, colorful serving trays or these old nostalgic silver trays that I'm showing you in a photograph here. But what I love is uh, people are using them for all types of home decor ideas. I absolutely adored this pin from Laura Winslow's photography. If you go to her website, and I'll give you the link if you go to allreddesign.net and link directly, you can go from my blog to her website. She shows you some beautiful collages she does with photographs and trays in her home. But I loved how she put the tray inside of a tray and colored them different colors. I thought that was really cute. So let me first show you some of the things I've collected in getting ready for this episode. These fun metal trays. You may have seen, I know Teresa Collins did a fun episode using metal trays and using them for magnets. Now I picked up all of these at my local dollar store and they came in. Now this was silver before. I simply spray painted it. So a dollar to come up with some really cute ideas. And how fun would it be to add a vinyl word on here and do some beautiful things with that. In fact, I took one of them here and simply added vinyl, the cutout love. That's a cute download from Silhouette and added it to this tray. And then I took my crocodile, the extra large one and punched two holes in it so that I could run this tool through it so that I could hang it on a wall. A dollar. I just thought that was so much fun and I'm going to go crazy with that. Then you could also take some fun, these fun trays and spray paint them your favorite colors. I didn't even prime them. Um, the spray paint holds really well. Now, if you were going to use them to actually serve food on, then I would probably prime them, coat them a couple times, and then you're going to want to go ahead. I got asked this when I did my cake standing um, episode, what to coat it with so it was food safe. And this is a great product that a couple of bloggers have referred me to. It's called Deft. And it's simply a varnish or a clear, uh, uh, what do you call that, shellac that you want to put over top of that to make it food safe. There are a lot of different brands, if you Google, that will work for that. I simply picked this up at my local Home Depot or Lowe's store. So put a nice, but look how fun this would be if you took, now this large tray I picked up at the dollar store as well, it's not metal, it's plastic, but you could spray paint that or leave it the same. So look how cute this would be. Simply add your colored pl platter right on the center of that. Adhere it using different double stick tape. Add that to your wall and you've got this cute tray within a tray piece for your wall, similar to that pin that I showed you. So let's go to my next pin, chalkboard. Y'all know I have this thing for chalkboard paint. So the first one I'm going to jump over to is signaturestyleblog.com. She takes some of these larger trays and I can't tell from her pin if they're metal or plastic and she actually painted the chalk on you know I've told you all you could do it two different or three different ways paint it on spray paint it on or use vinyl so this one is a spray painted one it's a plastic tray that I coated with it so that I could write with chalk I love that it's lightweight it'll stick to your wall really great with double stick tape this is another plastic one I picked up at a party supply store. Isn't it awesome? And this I cut out with my Cricut, just a, about an 11 and a half inch circle and added that right to the center. And that is that chalkboard vinyl that I always feature here um, from Brookie Craft. So I thought that was really fun. And then other ideas you might not have thought of, cookie sheets, or I guess we call them cookie baking sheets. This was an awesome pin from pizzazaria.com and I link to that as well. 
Now this started off as that. Picked them both up at the dollar store, by the way. So easiest thing ever, and I love the way it stuck right here. And then she actually suggests putting a plexiglass on here if you were going to serve with it, but I just love the way that turned out. Took some of my favorite fabric, and of course some spray adhesive. This I picked up at the hardware store. Skip the craft store, go straight to Home Depot or whatnot, and buy really good heavy duty adhesive spray. Do it outside though, it's super, gets everywhere, stinks really bad too. So put that on here. You're going to simply want to mold it to the corners and then you'll spray paint again on the earth, adhesive spray on the back, add some flannel. And then you've got this awesome tray made for a dollar. The next one, okay, this is where it all started, was with Kara, is some cute frames that they created in tra into trays. The first one I'm going to show you is from thriftyandchic.com, and she did a beautiful sample there. So I went ahead and did my own, similar to that. This was a frame that I picked up at Target for about $10. I thought it was a really pretty finish. And then I purchased these handles at a hardware store, actually drilled them right through the frame. So they're actually are really nice and sturdy. I picked up some fun, these are just unfinished wood balls. I get at Hobby Lobby, they're flat on one side. I don't screw them on, I actually use my E6000 glue after I painted them and added them to the base. And then here I have to show you how cute this is. So inside this frame, I couldn't decide on what I wanted that piece to be. So I actually have a few different options in here, if I can get it out. So I couldn't decide between this cute Heidi Swap paper or this really fun, I believe that's my mind's eye. This is fun Echo Park. So just leave them in here so when you get to the holiday then, or you're in a different mood, swap them out. But I have to show you this really cute Subway art. If you go to 18, the word 18, number two and five, dot blogspot.com, she has some awesome Subway art that she's created for different holidays. And I just sent these over to my Sam's Club and printed them on eight by tens. And look how cute those are. So I could swap those out and leave them in my tray as well and they're all free on her blog. So again, I'll link to that. So I thought how fun would that be to swap those out for different holidays and whatnot. So I do have a challenge that I wanna issue to my viewers. I need your help. I have a couple trays, I couldn't figure out what to do with them. Oh, I did wanna show you this really cute dollar store purchase. This cute one I added paper to is just a dollar store cheapy plastic frame that I added cute little wood legs to. That turned out really cute. Same here, same the wood legs. I just spray painted them silver and added them to the bottom of a silver tray. So you can have a lot of fun with that. But here's my challenge to you. I actually picked up this drawer at a thrift store. It was used, I took the drawer front off of it, added these really awesome handles to the sides. I don't know what to do in the center. So I need your help with that. And then I purchased at an antique store, this awesome metal tray that used to be this really awful chipped away color. I spray painted it silver. It's nice and sturdy. And I wasn't sure if I should mod podge paper in the center, if I should go crazy with vinyl. I thought maybe mod podging some photographs on it would be really cool. So what I want you to do is to go to allreddesign.net on my blog and I want to hear your ideas on what I should do with the yellow or the silver or both and then I'm going to recreate them and post them to my blog. I'm going to do a giveaway and give away some fun, let's see, give away some fun things on my blog that day and join me next week when I show you same, some fun ideas on different takes on notebooks and how you can cover them and create them so they're crafty. Thanks for joining me. Mm -hmm.